Hello, Creative Clan. That might well be us live. Uh, let me know in the chat if everything's working. Um, I'm seeing already we have Alicia in the house and Carol. Hello, everybody. You may have noticed I've already started felting. Um, we did the last couple of weeks, we've been doing the Maker's Needle Felting Box for the Dash Hounds. And over the past couple of weeks, we made this Dash Hound. Now, the kit. Um, makes three dash hounds so I promised I would make a start and I've made I've got one one blank body kind of there and one looking even weirder they don't have to look odd at this stage so I thought we could do today a, a choose your own adventure you pick which which dog I'm gonna do so I'll give give you all a minute saying hello to everybody till we get everyone in and then we can decide which which dog it's going to be because um, there's a choice of two left to do in the maker's box we did the smooth haired dash hound last over the last two weeks and we now either have the long hair or the wire hair dash hound to do so we'll have a little vote of what we want because um, they both they all cut start off at this stage and then we diversify into whatever they're going to be so I thought I would make the blank bodies and then we would move on to the next stage depending on what you guys wanted to see so there that's that's the plan for the day um, yeah if any of you missed my other two videos this is from the makers monthly subscription box it's the dash hound and you'll see in my two Sundays ago live we how we got to this stage in doing a body and then uh, last week you'll see how I made the body into this guy and then this week sorry I'm laughing because I'm seeing some of the chat I'll let you know what I'm seeing in a minute this week we're going to turn this body into hopefully one of the other do dogs yeah I'm laughing because I was just about to say they're at a duck stage just now um and yeah, Alicia just literally just came up in the chat. Alicia just went, it's a duck. Yeah, dogs go through, um, my needle felty dogs go through duck stages. And this one, definitely, <laughs> because we're, we're f it's got no legs yet. So it definitely looks like some kind of a bizarre duck. So, but yeah, if you want to know how to get to the, that duck stage, well, you can get the maker's box, the maker's kit. I would totally recommend it, but also check my two weeks ago video and you'll see how I got to this stage and also oh I haven't I haven't got the link yet but the makers did the other day did an awesome live video making a little um, mat a little play mat blanky blanket for these dogs so if you're making these dogs and you want something fun to go along with that I would totally recommend checking out their live video that was absolutely adorable um, sure let's see where we're at at the chat um, so Southpaw's in the house, hello there, and Lisa, hello, Alicia's wanting the long-haired dog um, so far, Carol has the kit but yet to start, oh cool, well you can jo join us or check back on it at any time, um, <laughs> Alicia's saying you weren't too good at that, oh. uh, Carol's going with long-haired as well, um oh you've tried the highland cow but he just looks like he's had a very bad hair year oh um long hair it took me a long time to get the hang of long hair i hated it to start with and i did whole loads of other methods for making long hair rather than just using the fibers to make long hair um i don't know if that kind of makes sense um but i would you know like how you see clay sculptures of animals with long hair you kind of shape the shape of the sculpture into what the shape of the hair what the shape of the creature with all the hair is going to be so if you were making a person i'm hitting the microphone if you're making a person the kind of head shape would include the shape of all the hair as well that's getting very curvy looking hand signals um yeah so I, I tried to do that for quite a while and then after a bit I started to get brave and started to work with long hair some more and now I would I would actually consider it one of my specialities is kind of doing long hair so I will after we've done this kit um I'm just trying to think of 
the sculptures that I have just now um, on commission if I've got any long-haired ones I'll get to this kind of stage and then I'll do a video showing you how I'm doing putting on the long hair I do have a video from a few years back it's actually one of my most popular videos on how to felt long hair um, totally when you're done here pop in a Google go do you call it Google when you're searching on YouTube? Probably not. YouTube, Pam Duffy, How to Felt Long Hair. Um, and that video has been super popular. Um, production quality is not great, but it does very much goes into all, all of the different methods I used at the time. I've got a few different methods as well um, for just creating different textures of hair. Um, because... In in general, unless you buy super fancy, oh itchy nose. Unless you buy super fancy different types of fibers, but we, we usually build up a stock of different colors of regular tops, merino or I can't remember what what make these are from the makers. Um, it is merino and alpaca, so they tend to be similar fibers. So for different breeds of animals, I have different methods to attach the hair to make them look just a little bit different. So I will do some videos on that um, because I think that would be super helpful because I, I do remember I was very worried about hair and now I find it like fairly easy. It's, it's rather odd, but once you get it, all the different breeds of dogs that look all so different the hair all grows out of the same places you know like a dog they're all variations of the same theme their bodies are longer or shorter fatter you know wider longer legs their noses are longer or shorter but they're all built on the same thing and the same their hair all comes out of the same places if that makes sense so once you get the hang of it it's just where bits are longer where bits are less long where groomers cut the hair where they leave it to grow and once you get the hang of that it's actually really pretty easy reasonably easy <laughs> um i don't have any long-haired ones lying about to show you um all right back back to the chat um, Southpaw, haven't, you haven't got your kit yet. Oh, hopefully soon. Yeah, the shipping is still kind of... It's mainly okay, but sometimes it's a bit a bit longer. And Alicia, yeah, I um, think doing ha long hair is not easy. <laughs> so, yeah, you're all throwing me in for the long hair. Um, which is kind of good, actually, because I was wondering if I used up a little bit too much of the colour for the wire hair. <laughs> <laughs> while doing this little guy and I was like I'm gonna have to eke that out because I don't have an exact match for that line about so cool we're gonna be doing the long hair um, here paper crane hello there um, <laughs> and she's found all you found all my puppy emojis yes <laughs> um, that was something that YouTube let us do a few months ago I was able to my um little files i made um practicing with adobe illustrator i made some animals and <laughs> so yes everyone who's a channel member gets access to my puppy emojis that, which have no purpose other than they made me smile so yay <laughs> so if you're seeing anyone who can who can put up puppies that's where they come from <laughs> um Alicia that'd be great to see you doing some more long-haired animals cool I will definitely do that I the weeks just seem to go by so quickly I've got so many things I know I need to do I've got um I have promised and I will do it uh not just a felting but a drawing eyes tutorial because when you know how to draw it like I can do it digitally, I can do it with felt to pens, I can do it needle felting and everyone always comments when I'm when I do two D animals that the eyes are awesome and it's so easy ish. So I just want to share with that. I've run out of time. I, I also have a I also have a plan for setting fire to stuff. Haven't had time to do that. <laughs> Mainly because I'm worried that might go. Um <laughs> that might go badly. Um, yeah, yeah, where did I get to? Um, Pamela, good morning from Silverton. Hello there. Um, 
Alicia and Betsy, hello. Um, Irina, hello there. Good to see you. Um, Lily Tree's in the house. Hey, Lily. Um, oh, Pamela, has anyone seen Faith? She's been missing from several chat groups. Oh, no. I, oh, I hope she's okay. Um, yeah. She she doesn't have to check in. It's okay to miss <laughs> to miss chats, but just let her know we're thinking of her anyway. Um, but Pamela, that's lovely of you to to watch out for her. Um, Alicia, yeah, you you join the the channel memberships is a subscription. It's ninety nine p a month. Yes, I, I didn't. I think that's like the lowest tier I could do because I just wanted it to be a bit of fun. I didn't. Um, so I absolutely appreciate everyone who's being a channel member. Um, it's it's a cool feature that YouTube give us, but yes, I, I'm not doing it madly seriously. You get you get puppies to play with. Um, Alicia, you talked to her face today. Um, we'll see if she's about. Irina, I think it's fun to see you making your animal sculpture. Thank you so much. Um, Pamela thanking Alicia. I thought a wellness check might be in order. Yeah, that is such a super lovely thing to do. Thank you for uh, thank you for caring for each other. That is, I I really love that. Thank you. That shows what a great crafting community there is there. Right. So I think procrastinating done, and the lovely checking in on people and saying hello. I think the decision's been made that we're doing a long hair dog. So top down camera there she is so let's 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 get this one out of the road um and this is the guy that we finished and that's a camera thing that shouldn't be there um so the next stage from this is making the legs and we're what did we say oh i might be oh yeah i'm totally wrong yeah we're doing the color that I, i'm not sure i've got enough of so hopefully i'll be okay here i'm sure so um, we'll just have to make skinnier legs. So yes, so the long hair is the fox rust brown. So I have to, right, I'm going to put aside hopefully enough wool. I'll, I'll half this and there's hopefully enough wool to cover the body, hopefully. And then I'll split this into four and whatever's, whatever that is will be how thick the legs are going to be. They have short legs, so it might be a little bit even shorter. But yes, so for each of the dogs, the long-haired dog and the short-haired, the black and tan one, require this rust colour to make their legs. Um, okay, and this is going to be short, fat sausages. Yes, I think I vaguely remember how to make the legs. Um, we, yeah, we fold it in half and then roll it up, which is a super way to get a nice, dense end um and yeah for everyone who's not met irena she's just someone who's joined in with the e-rank team super great to have you have you on board as well but yeah um oh alicia just want to support me a bit thank you so much i totally appreciate that um i i appreciate all of you <laughs> i don't want to sound like like I, d I don't do the hard sell for people by um buying things and stuff if if you can and you want to it's awesome but watching my videos is the best way that you can support me and support this channel chatting on here is absolutely the best way because seriously literally i was having a nap on the sofa before i started this and i got up and i was like oh i am feeling awful i shouldn't have had a nap um, I'm not entirely sure I want to do this. I, is my energy going to be awful on camera? And then I get here and I see all my friends and <laughs> it's so much nicer. <laughs> so hopefully the energy is a little bit better. But yeah, Sundays are tough days. And well, and I did have a lovely day yesterday, surprisingly. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, because as as we talk about this, what's happening in the world as well, well, some of the regulations in Scotland are a little bit more relaxed. Um, I didn't realise that even we can go into cafes and bars and restaurants now. I'm not quite ready for that. 
but it's my friend's birthday today so Shona if you're in <laughs> um happy birthday but um so yesterday I met up with her um and we went the sun was out we took crazy dog Mia and we went for a long walk in a Glasgow has country parks which are like countryside in the middle of the city which is awesome so we went for a walk there um there's uh, formal lawns there's mazes we found little fairy houses and a dragon um, and there was countryside bits with highland cow heel and coo babies and all sorts of awesome things so we did a super long walk it, well, I was tired by the end of it as well um, and then on the way back we found a little Italian restaurant that now because of all these changes now has lovely had lovely little seats seating outside so we were able to sit outside um, with Mia at that point because it was too hot to put her back in the car or anything because my friend lives in Glasgow and I don't um, so we were able to sit outside and have donuts and coffee also <laughs> I have to say the Italian place was determined to get us drunk um, my friend wanted a beer so that was cool but I was driving so I thought I'll just have a coffee it's a nice way to sit outside Italian Italian men waiting on us you know, wonderful little coffee that was great so I said so I said a coffee and he was like, what kind of coffee and I was just like just standard with milk to add and whatever and they went away and when he came back he had a carry of wine and I was like no, that's not what we ordered so okay fair enough went and got a coffee I think some reason he thought me saying coffee was carif, carif however you say it but you don't say it like coffee um, but then next time because we'd got these freshly made donuts to share with oh, they were so good I don't usually I don't eat sugar very often but donuts and they had a caramel sauce and a custard sauce and a chocolate hazelnut sauce they were so good um, but by that point, so I was, I asked for another coffee and my friend said, oh, well, I'll just have a latte then. So they went away. He checked and he says, are you just wanting the same kind of coffee as you had last time? I was like, yeah, absolutely. Just the same thing. And he came back with my coffee and another beer from my friend. So I have no idea what they think we ordered, but every time they just came with more booze. So, but... So my friend drank drank the beer and I had my coffee, <laughs> but it was so nice, um, just to just to be outside doing normal stuff and so lucky that the weather's nice. That makes a difference. So I hope everybody is doing really well um, and getting getting out safely to do some normal stuff. It does make such a difference. It because I live in the outskirts of the town and I'm never into the town centre and I only really go to the big supermarket to go shopping that was the first time I'd been in places where there was like a high street with shops and people doing normal things going into shops and going into restaurants it was so weird <laughs> totally bizarre um where did we get to with the chats? Uh, Alicia's making the short haired dog now. Um, Arena, you're most welcome. Alicia, yikes, I have very little of the fox brown left. I mean, the other thing you can do, they're just, they're just for you, it's kind of, you know, so just have fun with it. Um, so mix, mix other colours. And I, did you have the fox? kit it's the same color if you had any leftover from the fox kit I, I just thought fox brown I bet you that's fox yes um, but you could blend up your own color out of make the wire haired one and then whatever colors you have left blend it together um, to make another blend or you could order some fox brown as well but yes I, I went a bit crazy and used a bit much of the <laughs> that color as well <laughs> Pamela thank you your energy has risen to the occasion you look marvelous <laughs> thank you so much um Southport too ready for the bars or restaurants here either yeah it was it was nice sitting outside and there was plenty of space and the staff were all masked and came up and everything so 
so I felt fine where we were I wouldn't have gone into the restaurant um, but it, it was nice to sit outside and, and have coffee and cake brought outside that was that was nice it's only going to work in Scotland for a short time because we don't have the weather all that often but it was cool at the time Gwen you finished the dragon you were making awesome love dragons so much your husband loves it so much awesome uh, Rosani, hello there oh chat jumped again greetings Pam and everyone yes um, Pamela that park is now on your bucket list oh awesome <laughs> yes I was in it was Pollock Country Park which is absolutely lovely and yes the ferry the ferry bit was lovely it has a a large country house in it I don't know I, I suppose you can go into it in normal times I'm not sure um, but it was lovely uh, Gwen those are so cute yes absolutely Carol that park sounds wonderful um, yeah <laughs> it's uh, we are we are lucky um, it's it's said that Glasgow in Scottish means dear green place but um, this whole area is like in a in a large valley and although like for a lot of people when they hear of Glasgow they'll think of industrial and rough and all sorts of things but there are so many like huge parks here little parks huge parks you know wild park there's lots of beautiful places to go and it's actually it's a beautiful city and um oddly enough quite often if film studios are wanting to do something a little bit cheaper but to look a bit like New York they'll often film in Glasgow I think what was that zombie film they filmed something here not that that long ago that was supposed to be in new it's supposed to be new york but a lot of the buildings in glasgow can look kind of similar um irena is that a tale you're making now i uh, know i'm making the legs but good point i should check what color oh it's right here uh long hair fo long hair we want rust brown yeah so i do need some some of this for the tail as well um but it's only it's only a tiny bit yes but i've got to try and make sure i've got enough left over for everything <laughs> we're, we're saving the hair um lisa having a glass of wine while sitting at my desk today better not use any machines <laughs> brilliant you enjoy it it's a sunday i I would love to say this was something else, but it's cherry cake. <laughs> Alicia, Lisa, careful young lady. <laughs> Brilliant. Bexie, hello there. <laughs> yes, Alicia, I'm making a leg, or I'm I'm making a, a set of legs. <laughs> hey, I could, no, I'm not going to do that. I was going to say I could save. I could save fibre by making it a three-legged dog, but I'm not going to do that. Um, Betsy, hello there. You just got home from grocery shopping. Fantastic. Oh, Bridget, hi there. It's past the witching hour here in Melbourne. Awesome. I know. It's, it still blows me away how people can be sitting watching these things from all over the world. So, hello, Melbourne. <laughs> hello, the other side of the world. Um... Alicia, you just joined at the end of May for oh you didn't have the fox, yes. Um just joined at the end of May from seeing you. <laughs> Love the makers now. Oh awesome. Yeah, I I agree. I'm I'm very much enjoying the makers kits. This is just a, a fun little project and it's nice to have a flight of fancy that most of my felting just now, because 'cause I'm so busy with everything, but most of my felting is just not just i i appreciate it i love it but it's it's customers orders so i'm making what i'm told there and i don't have time to make dragons and all sorts of fun things so i just have to look forward to what the makers are coming out with and i believe it's the sea otter next week no is it this the hanging sl no it's the otter next week next month isn't it i can't remember you guys will let me know if i've got it wrong um chat always goes further than I want <laughs> Lisa's saying the the alcohol's needed some days absolutely um, Ali oh Alicia 
good thinking use the core wool for half the inside of the leg that that's another brilliant idea i should have done that um uh, Gwen, you ended up making a core of white wool for the dragon's body and legs. Oh, are you using this kind of design to make the <laughs> the dragon? But yeah, I mean, that, that's weird because usually, I don't know why I didn't think of it, usually I would make the entire critter in core wool and then cover it. Um, I don't tend to do the legs in a different colour and, you know, I just cover it with a bit. So I should have thought of that. Alicia... You fell in love with Glasgow. Everyone told me, oh, just skip it. Nothing is that great in Glasgow. But they're wrong. <laughs> oh, I wish we had more time to see it, to see everything. Yeah, I do. I, I like, I think, I think it, it's your diamond in the rough, isn't it? Because if you're coming to Scotland, everyone knows Edinburgh has its, its beautiful, touristy, wonderful bits. It's, it's a very interesting and unique city for sure. I mean, there's, there's, some bits of it that are just so kind of magical and not quite but almost like if anyone's been to York like I, I think York's just out of a Terry Pratchett book and there's a few streets in Edinburgh like that it winds up hills and it's all a little bit cool um, and so people don't expect anything from Glasgow but it has some cool bits as well for sure um, but yeah it is that there's a lot more industrial there as well uh, G Morgan, good morning. Are you talking World War Z? I think I am. Yes, I think I knew someone would know it. Thank you so much. Yes. Um I I totally missed the filming of it. Um but one of my friends works well, a lot of my friends work in Glasgow, but one of my friends is and don't don't get mad about him but one of my friends is a traffic warden so he's always walking the streets and they were out there like clearing the streets and everything for world war z so he got lots of pictures and things um gwen you're debating making whiskers for the dragon you haven't decided yet and I, I never thought of whiskers for a dragon i don't do whiskers for any of my animals i get i'm 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 too messy whiskers don't work <laughs> See, whiskers could be kind of fun because it's unexpected. Because I always obviously think of dragons as big lizards and dinosaurs, <laughs> really. Um, which I don't think, I'm pretty sure lizards don't have whiskers. But given it whiskers would make it cuter, like a, a big old cat or something. <laughs> Gwen's in Texas. Oh, jumped again. Oh, Alicia, it, it is, it's sloths like next week. Yeah, I'm ahead of myself. Next month. <laughs> I'm finishing. Well, there he is. We're nearly at the end of the month. Good grief. Um, but three hanging sloths next week. And then um, sea otters is in September. I'm looking forward to both of them. I have never made sloths and I've always wanted to. So this is going to be cool. Oh, uh, Bridget, you'd love to be visiting Glasgow. Ah, oh. <laughs> I'm going to start getting promoted by the the Glasgow Tourist Board here. But no, that I'm sure everywhere has has its own lovely bits. But I've been been making sure to try and find the nice bits in my area. Um, try and be more content with the area around you because all this. Well, I was never doing international travel, but all this international travel is kind of what's caused quite a bit of the problems. So. If we can be content where we are for some of the time, then that's kind of good. But absolutely, everyone comes to Glasgow as well. <laughs> we should convince the makers to do some kind of felting retreat in Glasgow. <laughs> um, oh, jumped some more. Where's the check gone? A Bridget's making enchilada. <laughs> awesome. Lisa, you're from Liverpool, which is a reputation, but if you visit, you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's amazing, just like Glasgow. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually been in Liverpool. I've I've seen, like, documentaries and news... You know, I've, I've seen around it, but never been in it. But I've been up to Manchester quite a lot, and I have found um, Manchester very similar in different ways to Glasgow as well and I've always thought that Liverpool would be so it's it's these industrial type areas that have built up 
Um, but yeah, that well, all the old industrial buildings from the Victorians made their industrial buildings. They were awesome. They were so beautiful. Uh, Gwen, it was a custom design, but based off a character from a book. I don't know if you've ever heard of Iragan. Ira <laughs> I haven't. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, Alicia loved the just juxtapos ju oh. <laughs> juxtaposition. I should be able to do words um, of the city. Old and new architect is fab. Um, Mum, yeah, hey there, Mum. And they also have the borough collection in the park. Yes, they do indeed. Um, it's a, an art collection, but the borough collection is currently closed due to the world. <laughs> um, but yes, that's there. Um, oh, Alicia's read the book. Cool. Pamela, Chinese dragons have whiskers. I did not know that. Awesome. Um, it's based off Safira. I am not sure. I, I'm I'm gonna have to Google so I'm gonna have so much homework when I'm done today. <laughs> Not cat whiskers. Um Oh Rosani, thank you so much. Yes, remember and show your projects at Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends. Yes, we totally wanna see them. <laughs> Bridget hilarious. Hello Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Uh, Gwen, but like the kind on or oriental dragons. Ah, I, I have loved dragons like my entire life and oriental and I've loved everything oriental um, and I never noticed that oriental dragons had whiskers. I mean I know like the big, the, the things that the guys dress up in and do all the acrobatics and everything it has fluffy side bits. I know all the technical terms, don't I? Oh, we have to make an oriental dragon. Makers? Um, no, uh, maybe that that should be a project that I should actually do. We should do do something together. I'll, yeah, I want to do one with all the... I mean, we did, I did do that oriental panther cat dragon thing, <laughs> which turned out super cute. Um, Oh Pamela, felting retreat in Glasgow would be wonderful once it's safe. Once travel is safe, yes, I think we. Th this this is for a way in the future plan. <laughs> oh, Gwen, it's the first in the inheritance series. This is brand brand. I'm learning. This is great. Um, and the whiskers on them are like a moustache. Ah, cool. Pamela, it's sometimes fr frustrating not to be able to share images in chat to illustrate the dragon whiskers. You can, right, you totally can. The link that Rosani gave you for Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends, if, if you're, I think, I think most of you are in there. If you're not in there, um, let, um, apply to join and let me know in the chat that you've done that. Um, and then stick up any picture you want in Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends. Say to me, Pam, I've put something up in the group and I can actually show them on the screen here. Um, unfortunately, there's no quick way to do it there. <laughs> um, but yeah, absolutely. Just let me know anything, any pictures that are in the group. I can do it. Or you could put a link up and ask somebody else who's in the group to do it and just let me know that any that there's a picture in the group that you wanna you wanna share in this chat and then I can go because I can share my screen. <laughs> um, so yeah, we we can. It it's a bit it's a bit not as easy to do, but there is ways around it. Um Bridget, International Post is about a month behind. I haven't got my dad's IDs yet, so I'm posty stalking. <laughs> um, right. Just got to turn these paws a little bit. Just stabbing in one place, bending it, make a little paw. That was easy. Um, Faith, hi there. Good to see you. Um, yeah, we were. We were checking checking in with you, so it's awesome to see you here. Um, 
Bridget, oh, Echidna, native of Australian. Ah, I'll have to look at that, yes. Um, Pamela, yeah, good to know for future reference, cool. Um, oh, Alicia just signed up on the Facebook group, All right? I will head over there. Um, now you get to sit and watch me clicking away buttons on Facebook. Oh, sorry for everyone that I haven't let let in for a couple of days. I got lost. Um, okay, so people are in. Uh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. So give me a yell if there is anything on the page that I need to know about. Have I got it? Yep. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> See, I can I can do I can slightly multitask. Um, Right, one pour. It's getting ridiculously hot in here just now. I think we're heading for another tiny heat wave, which is awesome. Like I say, it does make these whole cafe culture things a whole lot easier. We're we're gonna struggle come the winter. And yeah, I I have to people, I, I have a very, very important public service uh, an, an announcement here. Um, especially if you're in the UK, but all around the world, you absolutely have to follow your government guidelines for whatever to get to get everything of this safe before before the autumn. There's a very serious reason for this. Did you know this year's Halloween is on a Saturday, and the club that I work in has got that Saturday night to run their club. Um, I I I help out in a in a golf alternative club so halloween on a saturday night on our once a month club night so don't mess this up people we need to have our halloween party this like happens so not often at all <laughs> gwen you're waiting on two packages one from australia the other you can't remember oh yeah i <laughs> i've always got loads of packages coming i was just thinking i was getting getting dressed there after my little nap and i was just thinking I need to do some more shopping again. Get some more clothes. A little bit more online shopping. Oh, that's a soft leg. I'll just felt this a bit more. Bridget typo. Not dad. His doggies. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I made this leg so much more flimsy than the rest, but hopefully it will still hold. Because you've you've watched me felt legs before. Um, and yes, we'll have to felt a quick tail, and oh no, the legs go on next, and then the ear. Yeah, I'm doing legs, then ears. Um, oh no, this guy's got brownie. It's got this colour ears as well. Do I have any more of this? Did I make the fox up here? <laughs> we'll, we'll manage. We'll eke it out somehow. Somehow we'll we'll manage. Um, Gwen, you're thinking the other thing you're waiting for is a UK package. Oh, Bridget, wow, you're a dragon boat paddler and the dragon heads have whiskers. Wow, fantastic. Um, <laughs> Gwen, now you think, now you've said it, it might be from Japan. <laughs> I don't think I'm waiting for any packages just now. That's, that's very bizarre. Right, okay, sorting the paws out. That's front paws, I think, and that's back paws. So, yeah, these are going to be little... I'm gonna, right, we're we're eking out the, f the fur here, so I'm just going to spread this out a bit so that we get a bit of coverage. <laughs> he might have baldy patches, but yeah, that was just because I did not read ahead. So there we go. We've got a bit of covering going on. Oh, you're trying me with words now. Um, it's a toki doki figure. What a toki doki figure? Did I even get close to saying that right? So wow, what's what's that? That sounds cool. Um, Oh, Pamela, Bewhiskered Dragon posted. That, I, I has to find that, don't I? 
um, come on Facebook. Um, I do see Rebecca's awesome dash and dog pictures that she posted. So cool. Um, come on Facebook, be quicker. I'm finding them first. By the way, I know that I'm not I'm not sharing my screen yet because I want to. The the group's private. I I see exactly what you mean. Yeah, the group's private, so I don't want to share stuff just in case. Um, but yes, here we go. Um, yes, okay. Yes, I I totally understand. Yes, when when I hear whiskers, I think like a cat. But yes, they completely get what you mean. That's awesome. Um, that is so cool. Right, 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 right. back to two cameras. That's what we're doing. Oh, ho um, I got it right! Yay! <laughs> oh, it's a unicorn! Oh, you posted the sloths and the rug as well. Awesome! Thank you so much! Right, I'll find them and then I'll change the screen. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, the rug. Yes, if you haven't checked it out, screen share the screen if you guys haven't checked it out the makers did this was that friday um i have lost track of the days of the week but the makers did this um rug in the past couple of days in a live stream so i think that is super cute and something fun for the doggies to play around on um yeah so totally check that out um and the sloths should be there too oh no wrong thing <laughs> Okay, hang on. I will unshare the screen so I'm not accidentally sharing stuff I shouldn't. I will refresh the page. <laughs> but thank you so much for sharing things. Um, please let me know that you can all see these things, by the way, guys. I'm not making this up. Oh, it was Thursday. They they did it. Um, sloths. Sloths, sloths. I see the sloths. Okay, are they not adorable? So that is going to be next month's project. Um, yet to decide if we're going to do the other dog. Um, I also have... Back to this. Um, I also have a kit from Little Blue Artworks, which I'm looking for. I, I think you, I'm not even going to tell you what it is. I think you guys are going to love it. And I also have the Japanese kit of the Bengal cat to do so wow we're getting super behind <laughs> with all the things that we have to felt this is cool having too much to do um Bexy, yes that's Rufus who you're saying about last week yeah I can I can show you Rufus as well um screen because there's nothing else there yes so Bexy posted us this picture while we were working on him last week. She let us know that she'd she'd seen a dog that looked just like him. I think Rufus looks way cuter. Look at that! Exp look at that! Right? Is that not adorable? Anyway, right. <laughs> um, back to that. So yes, anytime I can. The software I'm using, I can screen share. <laughs> um, Uh, Bridget's saying you're you're from Australia and always waiting for the packets to come from the UK. Yep. Um, Carol, the Chinese dragon is brilliant. I've just made a green one, Guardian of the East. Oh, awesome! I I am loving that. Oh, you guys making dragons? I love dragons. Um. <laughs> oh, hey CJ. Um. Good morning, everyone. I'm late today. I have to watch the replay. Oh, it's good to good to see you just now, anyone. I anyway, I totally understand that everyone everyone has things to do on a Sunday. I love it that you guys can join in as much as you do, but I don't expect it all the time. We we don't. I was gonna say we don't quite take a register. No, we don't quite take a register. Um, <laughs> and Alicia saying the baby. I'm in love. Uh, Gwen, you have a Havanese dog. His name is Jojo. Oh, cool. I think, if I remember correctly, Havanese dogs was one of the first ones when I was trying to learn how to needle felt with 
long hair it was Havanese dogs I was working on in the first place so I sort of learnt how to do long hair from a Havanese so there we go <laughs> Bexie loves the hot dog <laughs> I'm saying nothing um Lisa, Guardian of the East sounds so intriguing. I know, it sounds a little a little bit like the, the film The Craft, if anyone remembers that from back in the day. Um, kind of witchy, but I know it's gonna it's it's like some oriental awesomeness. Um he sounds fun. <laughs> Gwen, they look like mops, yeah. Uh, when I very, very first needle felted started needle felting there was someone and I can't remember who they were but they used to they made these absolutely beautiful Havanese and Maltese and all the super long haired dogs and they were just so tiny and gorgeous and that was where I heard about um, silky bamboo as a fibre because they made them with the silky bamboo and silk fibres instead of the, the merino and it was just absolutely gorgeous. I, I fell in love with those. That's kind of why I decided to do that. Um, but your boys cut like a terrier. Yeah, they, they can the they can grow their hair super long but a lot of people get them get them shorter. Uh, Helen, hello, sorry I'm late. I was invited downstairs for a family meal. It's your your family's quite important, you know. <laughs> Um, Alicia in America we call them weenie dogs yep <laughs> oh wow right <laughs> I I have put the legs on slightly ski, ski with let's let's straighten you up <laughs> he, he was peeing on something this is a very naughty boy dog clearly <laughs> oh Carol thank you the green dragon guards the east in feng shui um, Lisa, love love the movie. I'm assuming that's the craft. Oh, I loved it too. It's, I've not watched it for ages. Um, well, Lisa, you recommend watching Beautiful Creatures, amazing witch movie. Awesome, thank you. See, I forget how how cool you guys are. Like when we started talking about like joking about death metal, and then suddenly you introduced me to loads of bands, and now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going like, should should I mention witchy movies so that people might be offended? And you're like, no, watch this movie and this is cool. I love you guys. <laughs> you're weird. That's brilliant. <laughs> um, Gwen, you left his tail and ears long. Ah, cool. Yes, your dog. <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember back through chat going, where were we with this chat? Your dog, yes, you left his tail and his ears long, but the rest of him's cut. My friends had um, a miniature schnauzer crossed with a Staffordshire bull, bull terrier, and he looked exactly like what you would imagine a miniature schnauzer crossed with a staff like a miniature schnauzer but wide <laughs> basically um and whenever they went to the groomers they always wanted they wanted him trimmed down and kind of keep a bit of the eyebrows and the beard and everything but he was mainly the gray with the lighter gray you know kind of salt and pepper color and he had this little diamond of white on the top of his head and they always wanted the groomers to leave that bit long because it made him he, he did look a bit like a gremlin and, but the groomers would never leave that bit long, but it was so cute. Um. <laughs> Faith, the adore dragons. Yeah, me too. And love the phoenix too. Yes, absolutely. Agreed. Agreed. Um, G. Morgan working with alpaca silk silk blends reminds me of small fluffy kit kittens. So soft, nice to work with in hats. Absolutely, yeah. I'd, alpaca and silk hats would be gorgeous. Um, I I agree. Yes. <laughs> um, go and sometimes wiener dogs are bred to chihuahuas and they get called ch chin wee wee <laughs> chin, chin wee wee. <laughs> oh boy. Stop jumping chat. 
uh, Lisa live witchy <laughs> love witchy stuff. I'm going live witchy stuff. Have we done li witchy stuff live? <laughs> love witchy stuff. Awesome. Uh, G Morgan bamboo silk would be just as nice. Yeah, ab bamboo's lovely. Um, oh, Carol, awesome. Next plan is a needle felt phoenix guardian of the south. Brilliant. We we have to see all of these. Right, I'm going to spare as little as I can for a tiny little thin tail here. Um, <laughs> see, sorry little guy, because um, I've got to get ears and I, I've been an idiot here. Um, uh, Bridget in Australia would call them sausage dogs. Yeah, sausage dogs here quite a lot here as well. Um, Alicia, I so want to see a picture of that dog. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> CJ, yeah, I did, I'm skipping over going to... CJ, me too faced? What? <laughs> that should say me too faced. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, Bridget, been watching Fear Fear of the Walking Dead with my teen and I made zombie dolls. Awesome. <laughs> yes, I, I love everything a little bit supernatural and a bit a bit weird in case you hadn't hadn't noticed I actually I was gonna say if I get the time I'm gonna bloom and make the time <laughs> I want to do some more arty projects um not just felted but um well I'm trying to figure out how I can do them felted but I don't know if you guys have seen but there's an artist that's been doing like teeny worlds in in books so you've got a bookshelf with all the books and then just in the, the little space they've made like Harry Potter Diagon Alley or something um one of these little worlds in a book now I didn't think I could work quite that small but I did love it and I wanted to do something a little whimsical I haven't decided if it more like doll's housey fairy house needle felted or whatever but what I thought was um I've got a um I had a box set of Sherlock Holmes books and I thought getting the box set and making a little world to go into the box set might look awesome in the bookshop bookshelf so that is something I, I've I've ordered another box set um, and I'm gonna going to try that I can't decide if I'm gonna bring myself to damage some of the books because it would be cool visually it would be cool and i think i've got over the fear of damaging books because i know books get destroyed all the time but i think it would be cool to glue all the spines together sort of cut away the books so you've got it looks normal and then you can fold the spines back and there's a little world in there um and i was thinking of like little fairy lights and everything i can put in there um um Lisa, <laughs> maybe the makers can do as a felted witch for Halloween, yes. Oh, Steffi, uh, really sorry. Our, oh, our 14-year-old pointer collapsed, taken to the emergency room. Emergency vets. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that, Steffi. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, yeah, that's, that's rubbish. Yeah, no, you... <laughs> You do what you need to do, absolutely. That's, yeah. You take care of yourself. Um, oh. Okay, take care. Sorry about that, Steffi. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I know. Our dogs are so special. And we're, <laughs> we're making one here. Man, I'm going to have to crack a window here. I am sweating. Excuse me, if it gets noisy or something, there's just a window over here. In fact, have, have I done this? Have I done this before? Let, let's walk about. Here's, <laughs> here's what's... Whoops. Here's what's off to the side there. There is. Come on, focus. That's the outside. That's my wee garden there. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's just what's off to the side. And I can do that without showing the mess that's the rest of my room. Um, but yeah, now window open because I am so hot. Um, I 
Roseanne, you love the idea. Oh, the 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 book thing. I have to I I have to plan and decide what I want to do. I was actually watching randomly watching YouTube last night, and the King of Random. I saw a tutorial that they did like an infinity mirror um, on a castle turret. So it looked like a long corridor. You know, what you do is you get a mirror at one end, and then a slightly reflective piece of glass in front of it, and you put a light and they reflect each other so the lights go back forever and I thought that might be cool at the back I don't know some kind of like witchy cave with a with a light in it or something um doo -doo -doo. Delia hello there uh Bridget how many needles are you using and what type this the wonderful ladies at the makers sent me this this is a three needle tool um, so I'm still practicing it, so I do catch my fingers sometimes. I'm still practicing with it, but yeah, it's so much faster and so much better. I'd bought, I'd bought to speed things up, I'd bought myself a three needle tool from elsewhere and I can't get on with it. The needles are too far apart. So this little guy, so much easier because the needles are super t fine together. So for every stab, I'm getting three times the amount of work. So yay. Um, Yeah, so that's 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 what's going on there, and I'm I'm enjoying it. It's much easier to use. It's a little difficult, um, but yeah, it's a little difficult because it's a little fatter. But then you get the hang of it, and it's a nice feeling tool. I will say, those of you that um, yeah, I got this two weeks ago when I started this kit. So those of you who were in the the chat there know what I messed up quite a bit. But um, it came with different needles in it, and the makers get because they know I don't like overly stabby stuff. So they got some of their fine twist needles for me. And trying to change the needles in this is a little difficult because it's so fine and everything's close together. So I managed to get two needles in for that stream, and then I finally managed to get the third needle in. So. Yeah, if you're if you've got one of these and you're changing the needles, do them one at a time. If you take all three needles out, uh, you'll probably end up doing what I did. All right, he can kind of stand. He's less wonky looking. What's my next job? Um, ears, long-haired fox, rust brown. Right, you're going to have very small ears, little guy. Oh, and I will go onto a single needle for this. Uh, let's just do quite skinny. <laughs> I'm sure we've got. I'm sure we can manage with what's left with this fibre. Um, um, Uh, Pamela, they make unfinished wooden boxes that look like books that are hinged, no need to destroy a book. Good point, thank you. Um, my my only thought just now was to use the box, you know, the, the box of the box set. Because, um, yes, uh, my, my Sherlock Holmes books are well read. I don't like the idea of destroying a book, I completely agree. Um, Alicia, my dog is literally my child. She has her own bedroom. Absolutely. <laughs> um, hi, Pam's house. Bexy, yeah, so sorry to hear that, Steffi. Yes. Uh, Southport, Port, you need a fan. I do actually have... I have a little humidifier -y fan here, but it is very noisy. But have I got a plug left? I don't have an open plug just now to plug it in. <laughs> Typical. Um, I do have a fan written, but it is too noisy to stick on when I'm working. Um, Alicia, the makers had a witch tutorial in September. It's going to be amazing and big too. <laughs> I just still see. I was still going to do like people. People tutorials where we're get, we were going to make a Bob Ross, but I haven't got round to that. Um, oh, this looks like I can spare some hair off of this. I'll probably add that back. Um, <laughs> can you just stop with the needle in the poor dog's rear? I'm so sorry. You're not going to enjoy my eye 
a tutorial at all. <laughs> um, Helen, your shed stayed decorated for Halloween all year. Awesome, my kind of thing. Um, oh, Alicia, the makers now have an even more awesome pink clover one that's amazing. You can put any size needles in it. The new one is much easier to put new needles in and super you're using yours right now. Oh awesome. I mean I know this the, this blue one I can put any size needles in it. It was just a little fiddly. Um Rosani definitely need to invest in a three needle tool. Yeah, I thought I wouldn't like it. Um I'm willing to give everything a go and got this. Hate it. Um it's be I love it's wood, it's it's well made, it's beautiful too far apart no I didn't even like it for like 2d I like the stamp the punch tool for 2d if you're doing it this which the makers also sent me thank you so much ladies um but yeah I I hated that one so when when the makers said they were kindly going to send me the three needle tool I was like thank you um not sure <laughs> but I utterly love it um Oh, Bexy, I'm so sorry. Our 12-year-old Ridgeback we're having to take in tomorrow. You're dreading it, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. It's horrible. Um, Bridget, you've got a clover one, but I buy my needles from you because no twisted, etc. here. Yeah, I love the twisted needles. <laughs> yeah, um... Oh, Alicia, oh, yeah, sorry, you can't link, um, hold, hold on, hold on a cotton pick a minute, um, uh, you can now, <laughs> Alicia, you can link, um, the spiral twist is the best, yeah, it's spirals that I've got in this, um, like any of them, you've got to play around and get the right size of needle for what you for how you felt um <laughs> Pamela according to the current tally you have 26 fans right now <laughs> oh cool is it 26 people watching or 26 people liking let's let's go and have a doozy 26 people watching awesome and nine likes let's let's get 26 likes come on <laughs> oh, sorry I'm just messing about um what to my knowledge, um, if if you actually like things and you give it a like, then YouTube's more likely to show you it. Um, not nothing to show. YouTube's more likely to show you more often when I put up videos and things. <laughs> um. Alicia Steffi calls it acupuncture for the animals. <laughs> <laughs> Stabbing his bum, you mean? <laughs> uh, Alicia, thank you. So everybody, don't forget to give Pam a thumbs up. Ah, <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, oh, fantastic! Yeah, we're we're up to fourteen likes apparently. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And it it's just a nice a nice thing for me. I I enjoy them. <laughs> it it's fun. <laughs> thank you, guys, so much. But yes, twenty four people in here so hopefully we have some people felting away and some people chatting away and loads of people being crafty Whew. right i'm not felting these ears super firmly because you've seen you've sat and seen me do do ears um so you don't need to see me do them again and if you want to see any of this um i think i started the ears on the dog last week so but yeah, the last two Sundays we did all this in more detail. Um, <laughs> Pamela, we need the like reminder. <laughs> thank you so much. I, I forget about all that YouTube housekeeping. So thank you so much. And Alicia's just put up the link to the clover pen. Thank you. That's awesome. I will check that out afterwards. Or can I check it out just now without losing what I'm doing? Copy link. I might be able to. 
and um, because I'm on my laptop the screen is ridiculously small just now um, right there we go um, screen and there so there is where the link will take you um, the clover three needle tool <laughs> um, so you can use three needles a fewer needles if you like uh, worked to help speed up 2D or 3D felting um, and recommend to use it with the brush mat absolutely um, yeah I just just tried the brush mat for the butterfly and I really liked it um, ideal for using with water soluble paper um, you can use it with just one or two needles take them out and yeah cool there we go <laughs> awesome here back to there Oh, Alicia, thank you, and link, link there for the sub boxes. I, I actually managed to. There should be also the link to that in the comments. Um, not in the comments, in the description of this video, I hope. But thank you so much for for adding that there too. Cool. Um, right, where have I got to here? So we've got a tail, we've got ears, we've got body. Oh, and then I get to skip ahead. Well, we put the ears on. These are very badly felted ears, which is going to come back and haunt me because I absolutely know we're going to have to add the long, long hair onto these ears because it's a long-haired pup. But there we go, ears. But I'm just kind of trying to hurry through this a little bit because you've seen me do this last time. Um, Oh cool, um, reindeer and penguin free bauble ornament for Tuesday at 2 o'clock UK time from the makers and um, that's their that's their next project so <laughs> it is a great time to start thinking of Christmas stuff sadly it really is every year I always leave it too late and I forget and then I'm too late to to make Christmas things in my shop and I just know that's going to be the case again um, and to be perfectly honest, I'm touch wood, hopefully it's going to be the same again this year, but I'm generally too busy at Christmas to capitalise on all the Christmas things I wanted to make, like cute little puppies popping out of Santa booties and everything, but I just don't have time for that kind of thing. I'm usually r run off my feet from like September, October, just making regular Christmas things. Okay, so we've done the short haired dash hound um, long haired dash hound that's what we're making um, ooh. oh we're, mix we're mixing colours again ok so one third of the white to oh great we're blending we're blending some of, some of the brown so we'll make it go further um, two thirds Oh, um, okay, right, I've, I've got to read for a minute, <laughs> one third red, two thirds, one third white, two thirds brown, all, oh, so, yeah, so we're making, are we making, I don't know if I've got to leave some more reds. Or if we're mixing all of this. Um, I think I'm going to leave a little bit, but we'll blend. So I'll leave a little in case I need to do his head or something. Um, but we want all of the red brown alpaca. Do I have red brown alpaca? But we'll we'll say it's this. I can't remember what everything is now. Well we'll do most of that. Um no. Oh hang on. Right, I'm looking at the picture here. So we want a little bit of black. A little bit of black. Um 
yellow and the cream and this and mix this together okay um Oh no, we're not right. Read the things to begin with. Take um, mix a little, mix a little yellow and a little bit of fox to make a caramel colour. Got it right. We're doing a little bit of things at a time. Good, good. <laughs> okay, I think I get it. Um, <laughs> Alicia, you love anything free. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> they're cute. Uh, the links for the wool for the bauble so you can make the robin and the Christmas pudding too. <laughs> oh, I felt... I used to... Um, when I was a kid, I used to do lots of polymer clay things and I loved making Christmas puddings. They're so easy but fun to make in polymer clay. Really effective. So yeah, they'd be... I either planned to make a Christmas pudding or I have made a Christmas pudding. I can't remember. I, I have memories of making it, but they might not be my memories. Um, well, I think I wasn't supposed to attach the tail yet, but anyway. Um, fasten strands of this caramel onto the tail. So, yep, so we're doing them. Yeah, that's a lovely colour. I should have blended it more, but it will still be gorgeous. So we're taking them folded in half and letting the ends go down so you get a as you can see <laughs> you get long wispy fibers and this is very similar to how i would be doing it so that's cool <laughs> tails is just not to go too overboard with so if this staple length of fibre was too long and you didn't want a tail that long, you could snip this and then pull it apart and blend it a little bit more so you would get still the wispy endiness but with a shorter fibre, um, if that makes sense. Um, but we're just we're going with what we're going with. Now, as I say, it's not blended as much as it should be, but because you've blended the different colours, it gives some variation in the colours and it looks awesome. Um, Here we go. Um, it, and then I'm supposed to fasten the tail on, but I've done it on the dog already. Um, and I'm just making the where it attaches onto his tail. I hope everyone can see how I did that. Um, but where it attaches, I'm making that nicely felted in. And I'm felting around the corners a little bit, so it's it's pointing down. It's, it's under control. It's not fluffing out all over the place. Um, That's cool. Right. So yes, we've got to mix some white with some some of this precious brown <laughs> um, to make a lighter colour for the tummy. I think I even need a little bit more. I don't want to make it too white. And this is going to be his tummy and up to his chest. Again, my carding... Well, not carding. My dog combing brushes um, are downstairs but you can use dog brushes or carding brushes to blend the fibers I do have a video on that um, if if you ever want to check that out and um, that's just search on YouTube um, for Pam Duffy dog brushes in fact would probably show it um, uh, Bexy I've always said Dash hound, but I do hear some say dax hund. I'm guessing that's the more correct pronunciation. Yeah, well, I believe it's a German word, so I think either way is right because we're saying it in English. It's like it's like the 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 French breakfast treat. <laughs> um, croissant is possibly said better the better way to say it but I've always said croissant <laughs> um, because I'm speaking English and I know it's wrong but we're we're British so 
we don't pronounce things right. Hey, you say <laughs> I'm not going to tell anyone off. I'm constantly told off for how I say eatsy. So, oh, that's cool. I made that more than I needed there. So this should cover enough of enough of him. I was going to say, is this a him or a her? What do we think? But the way he was cocking his leg, it was definitely a him. Although, my female dog, Mia, does cock her leg. Um, um, she does it very, very markedly, very pronounced um, and embarrassingly enough. Um, in the pet shop, she did it up the cheapest, most horrible, massive pile of dry dog food. So I ended up having to buy it because my dog had peed on it. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> Alicia, yes, you you said it better than me. I think it's because we all butcher the actual German pronunciation. That's it exactly. Um, Sharon, hello there. Hey, Pammy. <laughs> Just happened across this well on YouTube. Great that you could join us. Thank you so much. And this is... For, yeah, for anyone that's that's new here, this is my regular Sunday afternoon. Um, we 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 usually do a mix of things, but in general, it's um, in general lately it's been needle felting because I've got so much stuff to do, um, and so many kits to catch up on, and everything. So it's great fun. So yeah, anytime anyone wants to come along and be a bit crafty and join in, then. Yeah, Sunday, 4pm UK time, um, tomorrow in the other side of the world and early in the morning if you're in <laughs> in the US. I'm, I'm an expert at these time zones. <laughs> Hi Sharon, thank you so much. Eatsy is so cute, never stop saying it like that. Thank you so much. I can't even if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> You're all laughing at my Mia and her being a cheeky madam. <laughs> right, that's the tummy on. Again, I would felt these so much more, but I'm keen to get going and seeing what we're doing. Um, make a similar caramel mix to give the dog feathery legs. Oh, cool. I love feathers um right i will do i do have scissors i will do because this by itself is a little bit long for me so i will do this so i can show you um if you so the staple length is about this long and i can't really get it any shorter but if i cut it in half like a saw and then i do a little bit more blending because it's a sharp edge just now um but if i want to get it a little more feathery just it's it's harder to pull them apart and blend them when they're shorter but that's kind of worked um yep so we want to make little feathers that's probably not the best yeah probably don't cut it like i just did but we want to make feathers off the legs i'm going for a single needle here um but yeah i made that a little too fuzzy so don't cut it quite so short i'd probably cut it two thirds one third or not even cut it and just wrap some of the fibers around so you get the longer bits like i've done there but yes i'm 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 learning myself <laughs> different materials oh that's a better pinch yep So you're felting these in so they're sticking out the way that the dog's hair would go. Um, so if you look at the feathers on a dog's leg, then yeah, that's that's the way they go out. And because we've blended this colour from several different colours, then you get the lovely lines so you can see it even better. I think this, is, this might be the good side of the dog. <laughs> um, but there we go, yeah. Yeah, I don't like that side. So we're going to take a little bit more and just... I want to... Will that look better? That'll look better. There we go. Um, I 
Oh, Alicia, thank you. Yeah, she's put up the link for the dog woven blanket um, the, that makers made on a live stream on Thursday to go with these little dogs. So if you're making these dogs, then you want to check out the blanket. Um, uh, G Morgan, it's 10 a.m. in Minnesota. <laughs> Sharon, it's surprising how relaxing it is to watch you stabbing a little dog. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it seems so wrong. I bet you love it when you can hear it too. I should maybe just stop talking and do the AMSR, um, but I just feel so wrong when quiet on the air. It just feels wrong. Um, okay, again with the caramel mix cover the sides of the body leaving the strands hanging down I'm going to have to make a little bit more of this so I'm going to I'm going to go off, I'm sure they want us to use some of this too reasonably confident so some of this, some of this and some of this um, ah that's cool yeah so I would tend to use shorter bits of fleece and build it up, but this is really cool as well. This is kind of how how I cover my Highland cow, um, which I did show in my How to Needle Felt Long Hair video. Um, so yeah, you, this is fun. <laughs> um, Uh, CJ, your screen says 28 watching and 19 likes. Awesome! 28 is really cool. Thank you. And thank you all for the likes too. Um, but it's not good enough for Alicia. 19 likes is not good enough. <laughs> Need more likes. Thumbs up over to the left of the video, please. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Um, oh, G Morgan, you've made it a habit to hit the like button before I start watching. But what happens if you don't like? What if I was just having a rubbish day? No, I, I appreciate it, guys. That's so cute. Thank you. Um, CJ, yeah, me too. Then I don't forget. Um, oh, sure. Thank you for the links. Um, he's our Facebook fan page. I like Pam's. Any help you need, post here. Um, <laughs> You're all liking the stabbing noise. Um, Sharon, whose instructions are we following? This is the makers. Um, they they're usually here on the stream, but they've they're they're having a very bad day today. Um, but there is a link in the description of this video. This is the makers monthly bo monthly kit. Every single month they do. A little kit I can't remember how much it's under 20 quid um, and you get a little kit with all these great instructions and just now this is um, enough enough materials to make three three dogs in this case we've got in the back I've made other we've had rabbits we've had foxes we've had all sorts so it's an awesome little kit and every month when I get my kit we just um, do it together <laughs> um, so that's kind of fun so yeah this is this is fun for me to be learning different methods of felting from what I normally do. Um, right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to roughly try and take this little lot that I've got in half, because we're doing it over the dogs. This is to be the feathers down his side. So I'll do it in little bits. So I'm just taking off a bit. I'm pretty sure we're going to need some for the front as well. But laying this down, I'm going to leave the, the top of his body won't be... That's a bit long. top of his body won't be so covered. I'm more worrying about getting the long hair coming down off the side and trying to keep... Get, remembering the shape where the front of his chest is deep and then it gets narrow for his belly. So I'm just popping some little wisps, letting them hang over and that's going to be his coat. Again, when you're doing this yourself, blend the colours some more. This does look a little different, but cute anyway. <laughs> it works. Um, but take more time to blend the wisps in. Um, 
but you just lay them on, let the ends float free and felt in. And although they're, they're long hair, they're fairly silky long hair, so don't make the clumps too big, just let little bits of wisps fall off the ends. He's going to look a little bit crazy because I haven't blended the colours, but it gives you an idea of where all the fibres are. I think kind of looks cute. <laughs> um, Alicia, yeah, everyone's dog looks different. Every everyone's version of this project of every project from the makers kit they all look slightly different in their own unique way and it's awesome um oh carol you can't see the the thumbs up button yeah different i think if you're on a phone it's different than when you're on a computer and everything so i guys i appreciate you being here um i i, I appreciate it if you can thumbs up but yeah if, if you can't, you're here, and I'm loving it anyway. Um, oh, Faith, you always like as well. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I don't even. I don't even have to ask you for likes or anything. You're doing. You're doing it all for me. That's so cute. Um, and don't. Ooh, bit much yellow there. And don't forget when you're on the the maker stream or anyone else that you like as well. Don't forget to give them a a like as well because it it helps us all crafty people know that you like us <laughs> it does it does feel nice when people do that all right get that on um alicia it's 19 pounds for the the kits but i think it's cool. 19 pounds for three little doggy projects with all the instructions i i'm pretty happy with that um yes i've used cheaper kits but they came with styrofoam balls and i hated every minute of them um yeah. uh, Sharon, is that real dog hair you're using? Uh no, but you can do. I do have um the the latest dogs I'm working on just now. I've got four little um cockapoos, I think they are. And I am using real fur from real dog that sadly passed away. Um, but you absolutely can. If if you're going to use real dog hair, I would make a core like in core wool and and finish it up. Or depending depending on how the dog hair or the cat hair, depending on how it's gathered. If it's from a brush, you can mix that in with some core wool. It's not necessarily going to be so great as top fiber, but if it's been cut then it can it can work really nicely as a top fiber yeah definitely blend these um these colors in a little bit better <laughs> um bexy it really looks like it doesn't it yeah and um, well it's it's and this is merino sheep fiber so it, it does give the impression of dog hair this this is definitely this is an out of lockdown dog. He hasn't had a chance to get to the groomers yet. <laughs> um, where did we get to? Um, the top of the dog will still be bare. It is indeed. Now make a new mix using rust brown. I don't have much rust brown left. <laughs> um, rust brown and cream tops. That looks like cream. Again, keep the fibres running in one direction. Yeah, so we're just making another thing to to cover up the top. So I'll use some of the bits that are lying about as well. So yes, we're just covering the top of them. Um, oh, here we go. So top tips. Um, keep the fibres running in the same direction across the body. That helps with the shading. Um, and lay it onto the top of the dog so the wispy ends hang down either side. Felt this, sh gently sh stab at a shallow angle, almost running parallel to the side of the body, um, so you don't flatten, so you don't actually felt the strands all flat into the body, but so you keep a flowing shape. Um,
Okay, so just going to take some little pinches and again just fine enough so it covers so you don't see bare patches coming through but if you want a silkier coat it's easier to add less fibers and then build up a little bit more if you add too much then it can then it gives a different texture of coat i'm not describing that very well and that was a bad bit trick go away so I'm trying to add less while at the same time not letting any of his white coats show through leaving wispy bits felt in the back on and yeah when I'm doing the highland cow the healing coo for, for me what I do is I take a fight not too thick a piece but just a piece the whole length of the body and then I'll just felt down a line so that it boops down like a center parting and then you just catch the fibers as they're running down the side in the you know don't felt them in you're just catching them a little bit so it's not all poofed up that's really bad description oh and here comes the sun here we go <laughs> um oh carol you're watching on tv cast from the phone awesome I and also really terrifying that I think that people have me like my my big sweaty face <laughs> all up on the on the big screen but it's really cool I when I first discovered you can do that it it feels like being in the future when you go oh I'm watching a movie on my phone send it to my television <laughs> um. Uh, Sharon, can you make mistakes with this and if you do, can you fix them easily? Very much so. Um, I don't want to do it too much because I'm a little bit out. Well, look, I'm sorry guys, but you can just pull. <laughs> you can pull an ear off, reposition it and felt it back on again. It's super forgiving. I am so sorry everybody that I just did that um but yeah you can let's do it actually properly um so if I hated that ear I could pull the whole thing off I could trim a bit of it so much you can do and just fix it up <laughs> um Alicia, Pam, I can see what I did wrong I did bigger clumps the second time I did better yeah um something that's that's what took me the time th to learn as well if you do little little bits and then build it up if you need to it gives a far more realistic coat than if you dive in and do too much all at once um i as i say i completely know i'm doing this wrong in that i haven't blended that enough so you've got big clumps of color yeah that's definitely the nice looking side <laughs> um you want enough to see a variation running through the the coat but not quite as much as i'm showing here um they haven't said anything about the neck yet but i'll just add a little bit up there um lisa the duck is now oh it moved Lisa, the duck is now a dog. Magic! <laughs> oh, Pamela, we appreciate you being here. Thank you. Um, Helen, yours are still dog ducks. Keep, yeah, Lisa, you've got it. Um, keep going. If you don't like how they look, you just haven't finished yet. Um, saying that, I don't generally like how mine look when I'm on a live stream because it's way harder to, to do that. But yeah, that side's actually looking not bad. Right. Um... All the dogs should be covered now except for the head. Use some more fox rust brown. Actually, I've still got some left. I'm pleased with myself. Um, and cream tops and mix well. Don't worry about the fibres running in the same direction. Cool, so we're just making a blend. In fact, 
I know that I'm going to blend that. No, I will do what they tell us. I was going to say I won't blend it, um, but I'll just put a tiny bit and we'll blend it. But this, because I'm not wanting the fibres all running in the same direction, I'm, normally I'm going, I'm pulling it apart and stacking it in the same direction. But this time I'm just going sideways and every way. Um, oh, Carol, mine are still lumps of felt in bags in a box. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you just got to get started. Um, Sharon, have you ever done a needle felt of yourself? I have not. Um, that, it, I'm contemplating it because it would, like doing Bob Ross, it would be kind of easy because you just kind of identify me with my hair, <laughs> um, basically. So that would be cool. Right. So I just want to cover the dog's head. And we're getting really close. That actually, they come together quite quickly. But yeah, I'm just going to get his head covered. Um, and then we've got to work on his nose. Um, and eyes. I think eyes are going to have to happen. Um, but apart from that, there's not really much. He's, he's come together pretty well. Again, see, I'm learning stuff again because I would generally cover him all... Th this is why I was worried there wasn't enough of the, the fox colour, but there really is just enough. Because um, I would have covered him all in the fox colour or whatever blend colour I'm making and then put the wispy hairs on afterwards. So this is much quicker and uses less of the colour. <laughs> So there we go. Every time I learn something a little bit different and a little new. But just yeah, and get his head covered. Yeah, and check the chat while I'm... <laughs> And Bridget, on a phone you have to turn the live chat off for the like to show up. Oh, that is such a pain. I, okay, I suppose it's it's tricky to get everything onto a phone screen. I get that. Um, Alicia, you get the full tools and the mats the first time. It's a mat. Yeah, the wool mats. They're um, you can compost them. They are super cool. Environmentally friendly. I completely agree. If you haven't seen the earth mats. I still haven't picked mine up from whenever it's gone hiding, but if you haven't seen the earth mats, they are, instead of the plastic things that we generally get, foam foam mats that are not good for the environment, the makers have a pure wool mat um, that you can get, or it's a pair of mats. There's a, a, a less firmly created, a less felted <laughs> uh, wool one for the top, and then a denser one for the bottom. Um, but yeah, they're super cool. And good for the environment. Oh, Bexy, your brother has two cockapoos and they're sweeties. Yeah, I I was talking about that with a, with a friend today. Today, yesterday. Yeah, I, I shouldn't... Um, in general, I'm not like the world's biggest fan of people deliberately crossbreeding. Um, I'm not the world's biggest fan of most most breeders. People breed for not the best reasons. I don't want to go too much into animal welfare and stuff here. Um, I, I love dogs and I where I can I rescue. Um, so I'm not generally a fan but I, I did confess that I have not met a cockapoo that I don't like. They are always such cute happy little little critters um yeah and it just they just make me smile whenever i see one especially there seems to be a lot of cockapoo puppies about just now and the cockapoo puppies are always happy and adorable and daft and yes i i shouldn't like them but i totally do yeah there we go i think his little head shape's coming out better than the the last one I should have again looked at some more pictures of dash hands to see. I'm trying to remember what their head shape is like. If they're very domed or fairly sloped, I can't quite remember. Um, it's been a while since I made one. But anyway, um, <laughs> Helen, nothing a good groomer couldn't sort out. Exactly. <laughs> well, I don't think um, 
a groomer would get a fright if they saw a dog come in with the patches of colours that I've got. I think that's some kind of bizarre illness, but that's just because I'm rushing. If you've seen how I started to blend the colours, you just spend a little bit more time and you get a much more lovely blend. Um, uh, G. Morgan, you could have made a sculpture out of your Malmutes. The cat would have adopted it. Or she would roll and eat their fur while the, while we brushed and brushed and brushed. Didn't get many guard hairs. So. Oh yeah, um, Mal's and a lot of a lot of breeds like that, especially when they drop their undercoat and stuff. Oh, you can practically get a whole whole other dog out of them. And yeah, a lot of those different breeds of dogs, their their fur can be really kind of good for felting with <laughs> so yeah keep an eye out um and yeah if you have a dog or a cat keep a hold of their fur look at how different ways like some breeds need trimmed so keep keep a hold of that look at what happens when you wash it look what happens when you brush it um i'm always curious at how when you're brushing it if if your dog has different colors of fur they don't tend to the fur doesn't tend to come out of the same color as you expect it to the undercoat makes quite a difference um oh we're gonna make his little nose cool so my my super super trick for <laughs> felting a triangular shaped nose in between three fingers to make a triangular shaped hole here <laughs> um Alicia, yeah, thank you. The fox rust wool is a great colour. It really is. Um, yeah. Sharon, oh, cheeky. <laughs> Didn't think you'd get the sun up here in Scotland. Not very often. That's why I'm dramatic about it when I do get the sun, <laughs> because it's a big deal. Uh, Bexy, oh, you just found a video of a longer-haired dashhound when I met at the fun show. He was a rescue and an ambassador of dashhound rescue. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> oh, Alicia, murderer! I'm assuming that was me ripping the ear off. <laughs> um, oh, I lost that again. Um, <laughs> yeah, Alicia's a murderer. I just screamed. I'm, I'm assuming that was the ear. Oh, Bexy, basically he has no teeth and other problems, but he's the sweetest guy. Oh, you'll post him in the group for anyone to look. Oh, lovely. <laughs> lovely tree. Pam pulls dog's ears off. Yep, I know it's my cruelty thread. <laughs> Sorry, Sharon. That was brutal. <laughs> Alicia, I hope the RSPCA don't see that. <laughs> and Rosani. Oh, the horror! Uh, CJ, switching over from my tablet to my cell phone. I want to listen while I drive. Oh, I drive safe. And um, where are you off to? Um, no, I'm actually stop. Pam, don't ask when someone's telling you they're just about to drive. <laughs> but drive safely. Um, Canvas and Chroma, hello there. Good to see you. Um, uh, Canvas and Chroma, did you miss an anything exciting? No, no, nothing's happened here. I did not just do cruel things to a poor little dog. Nope, you didn't see, <laughs> you didn't see a single thing. Jared just asked if we could fix mistakes, so I quickly demonstrated we could. Um, oh, Bridget, yeah, he's been out in the sun bleached look. Yeah, exactly. Cool. <laughs> You're quite right. Um, I'm giving this guy a slightly bigger nose because in the picture it looks like they're giving him a slightly bigger nose and it's a bit cute, I think. Um, Alicia. <laughs> yes, she was a dog abuser. <laughs> Stabbing him and then ripped his ear off. Luckily he's made a felt. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and Lily Tree saying to Canvas, you know, the usual stabbing. <laughs> and yeah, Pam is always stabbing things she is it, that's my job <laughs> so everyone should be careful my job is stabbing things oh now oddly enough that side of his mouth is a little more in than the other so here you go sharon's another another mistake that um i don't know if you can see it clearly but this side's not as much felt as the other side so i'm just adding a little pinch more to even it up um Dexter Morgan can't even match all of Pam's stabbings. And you know what? I've never been caught. 
Um, oh, Bridget, awesome question. Can you over felt? You tend to like hard felt. It. Um. I don't believe I ever have. Um, I've heard people say, but I've never seen it. And I have. I've literally sat and attempted to felt things for like hours, just a ball, and just kept felting it and felting it, felting it, and nothing happened. But I've heard people say you could felt so tightly that the fibers start to snap inside, so it becomes soft all over again. I have never had that happen um anyone in the chat if you've if you've had that happen please um let us know but i i never have and i i felt as i felt too firmly because i get nervous about going on to the next step and i just sit and do the the firming up the body for like two hours too long rather than moving on to putting the putting the long hair on Okay, um, we are, oh, a tiny brown mouth, okay, yeah, we're doing the little smiley mouth, um, I know there's more instructions there, I haven't read them, so, if I'm wrong, sorry, <laughs> but I'm excited, because we're so nearly there, and his face is looking quite adorable, so hopefully I don't mess it up in the closing stages. Um, this bit I always feel um, can look a bit like a moustache when you start doing it. <laughs> You've got a curly moustache and then mouths sort of come up underneath the nose and then, depending on how jowly they are, sort of go down a little bit here and then dash hounds do seem to have a sweet little smile, so sweet sweet little smile. Give me a sweet little smile. There we go. And the bit I get wrong <laughs> is getting them even. Let's see how well we can do today. And this is hard because I'm trying to hold it for the camera and trying to look without putting my nose in frame. How's that? Not bad. Uh, felting it in a little bit so that the top of the jowl kind of poofs over a little bit a little bit more smile I'm assuming we're going to put eyeballs on at some point soon but there's his little face <laughs> that's cute um, uh, Bridget saying she loves her earth mat yes me too me too um, Oh, Alicia, the mat you get in the first kit's a bit different, but it's also 100% compostable. Ah, thank you. There we go. <laughs> um, uh, and Alicia's saying you love to firm felt too. The only time you do it too much is if you need to mo mould the piece more when you're adding. Then you want it to be firm, but not rock solid. Yes, I mean, they, these aren't felted firm yet, so I could, if I wanted a more upturned nose or you know if I wanted to change the shape or I think dash hounds have a little more downturn that looks more dash houndy to me yes so you can do that and then felt it a little firmer um, um that's all that page and yeah uh, we've got eyes and then a little more hairiness okay so I have a more stabby needle um, and the eyes are quite low down by the looks of it. Oh, we're going to add a wisp of red-brown. <laughs> We've not got many wisps left. <laughs> no, no, this. We'll, we'll add a wisp of this, a darker colour. So we're just making a darker colour here. For a bit of shading where his eyes are going to go. And I'm just felting all in one place because I'm just going to use a glass eye that I've got sitting about here. 
I do have the the little beads that we got in the kit, but I don't have any glue up with me, so I will just stab away all in one place. And I've just got a little tub of glasses here. Oh, that one doesn't want to stick. Um, and I would, if I was doing this for sale or if I was worried about it, I would add a drop of glue to that before I put them in. But there's his eyes in. We're gonna a little bit of fox and brown and cream. <laughs> um, oh, I'm gonna yeah. We've got to do some chest and the ears, so I'm gonna make a few bits, a bigger bit of this, and then I think that's as done once we've done that. So I have, <laughs> I'm left with just enough of the fox red left, so for all I worried, I'm just going to try and blend these and also try and get all the fibres in the same direction. Um, oh Bexie, you've got to run for dinner. You have a good evening, um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, oh, Sharon's just messaged a picture of a dash hound. Awesome. Um, <laughs> um, you're saying it looks particularly gruesome when you stab at the eye sockets. Yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> it does indeed. But it's worth it at the end. Um, Rosani, got to say my hubby thought I made something cute. Now I believe why he gets why a double with the felting. I love how the, the felting and the papier mache, you know, the mixed media, how well it's working together. It's super fun. Um, but yes, it adds, because you, um, your papier mache is a kind of cute, cute gruesomeness. Um, I totally love it. The grotesque the grotesque sort of carnival things um, and then adding the softness to it is really fun right so we want to add little wisps to his ears just so they just come down a little bit longer so I'm laying it on in the same direction letting the fibres come off the end and I did actually read ahead and we want to do whoops a second little pinch so there's a little overlap another thing you can do because this is quite long i'm not going to because it would give a solid line but if you wanted to get thicker hair you can felt it in place and then fold over um i'm actually actually i'm going to do a little bit so i'm felting this like about a centimeter line but not doing a straight line, just kind of random, and then folding these bits over to make just some extra tufts. Grooming it, <laughs> grooming it with the needle. And felt it in place. There's an ear. <laughs> that is cute. That pulls it together a bit more. And you can catch, don't felt it so much that you lose what you've done, but you can catch up some areas and just tidy them up a little bit. That's cute. That's not enough. This is not wanting to behave just now. Oh, get that into the light. First bit of the ear hair. Oh, 
second bit of the ear hair and then fold a little bit over. That's cute. And you can see, like, if you were going to make something like a spaniel, I can show you here. If you're going to make something like a spaniel, you could put just thicker clumps of, of fur here. And then I'll show you a neat little trick. Just to get it curly, I just move that up and then just kind of squish around these lines and it gives a more curly effect if you wanted just something quick and easy. But let's not do that on a dash, on a dash hand. And a little bit for his chest and then we're done. So just taking a fine pinch again. And letting some bits drift down. Another fine pinch. Don't like that bit. And I can do the same again here because that's a little bit longer than I wanted. So felt it in half and then just fold down a little bit. Also, I called him a boy earlier for his cocked leg. I think he's a lady now. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit of both. And his head's a little bit domed. Maybe he's a he's a little bit of a flum, flamboyant, <laughs> flamboyant male dog. Um, but that's not looking too bad. I'm not sure how good it's looking on the camera, but here he is. By Jove, I think we've done it. Right, let's go to full camera. And you can see <laughs> a little long hair dash hand. Just spend a little bit longer blending the whole fibres. But yeah, just taking small pinches, laying them in the direction you want. And it looks kind of cute. <laughs> right, I'm just going to check the chat and then that is us done um and guys yeah let me know um and let me know in comments if you're getting this in the replay would you like me to make the third dog which is a wire hair um the third is the wire hair dash hound um we've got his body started um i can do that next week if you want or we can go on to something else um Oh, Alicia, your hubby got you the moles for your birthday because he wants me to make them for him. <laughs> I asked for the squirrels. Um, friend got me them me instead. <laughs> awesome. I think the moles are cute, but well, that's a good thing that he's he likes them enough that he's wanting you to make them for him. Um, <laughs> and. And yeah, if you want to see Rosani's work, Rosani does have a YouTube channel as well. Um, check her out. And so if you just click by her name, um, the three dots by her name, you'll see go to channel and you can see some of her videos there. And she also shares in our group, Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends, um, Alicia. And she still has some Fox Rust left. I know. Um, it, it It's running on fumes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would have there there are some little bits here that are a bit more patchy than I would like um, and that's my fault entirely for rushing through this um, so I would cover them I will cover them up <laughs> um, just a little um, because that's annoying but yeah we're I thought I wouldn't have enough left, and I do. I, I have slightly more than enough left. Um, uh, Rosani, love long ears on the short weenie dogs, like they could fly away in a strong breeze. <laughs> I used to pet sit from my friends, and she was so much fun to watch. They are quite adorable, aren't they? <laughs> 
They're so tiny. Um, um, oh, Faith, she's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, Alicia, she's amazing. L you would love to see the third dog, but you pick. No, you guys pick. This, this is your... This is your Sunday. Um, Bridget, she's a cutie. Thank you. I'm going to sleep. It's after 2 a.m. Oh, thank you so much for staying up with us. You have a good night's sleep. Thank you so much. Um, Carol, definitely the third dog and you might be able to felt along. <laughs> awesome. That would be so cool. Yeah, so if anybody... Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. The third dog. I've got all the stuff here. So if anyone wants to felt along, if you get your um your your body if if you get to the duck stage, I'll be starting from the duck stage, I'll tidy that up a bit. It's I I confess, um I I was on a, a Zoom training course um earlier in the week and while the instructor was teaching us stuff, that's when I made these two. I was sitting going like I'm paying totally attention, I'm not I'm not felting at all. Um, so yeah, if you get your dog to the duck stage for the wire-haired dog, and then we'll do that. Um. <laughs> oh, Lisa, thank you so much, and Rosani, thank you. Right, guys, I think that will do us for our day. Um, thank you so much for joining us. If you have little dogs that you've created, I'm going to keep tweaking. <laughs> I'm horrible for keeping tweaking at things. Which is your good side? That was your good side. Um, if you have any that you've created, don't forget to share them. Not only on the makers, but Pam Duffy's crafty friends, creative friends, whatever I call my group. Cra Pam Duffy's crafty friends. If you share them up there, I'd love to see your work. Um, anyway, you have a great time. Uh, 